A reading from the book of Matthew, starting at chapter 9, verse 35. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. He called his twelve disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out evil spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip, and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, preach this message. The kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy. Drive out demons. Freely you have received. Freely give. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Joan, for our reading. I thought a reading that we talked about being sent out into the world to go and go amongst our neighbours, I would come outside. It's not something we would usually do for a sermon, but these aren't normal times as most of you will gather. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in the synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease. Then he saw the crowds and he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. And he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his fields. images of Jesus chooses to have here. He sees the people helpless like sheep. He sees them ready to receive the good news. He also sees that the harvest is ready to be gathered. Isn't that amazing? He sees that the harvest is already ready. There are already people who have received his word and are ready to be harvested and brought in. Not everybody was lost. Not everybody was harassed. Not everybody was helpless. There were people there that he met who were ready to receive and become the harvest. And then what does Jesus do then? He famously sends out the twelve. And they're all listed here. And there may be a surprise sometimes when you read that list through that you realise that Judas, who was to betray him, was also on the list. Judas was one of the people who experienced what it was to go into these communities and preach Jesus' name and to cast out demons. And then he still didn't see the true power of who Christ is. But also see who he sends them out to. Jesus sends his disciples out to the communities that they knew. He told them to go to the communities that were Jewish. Not to the Greek towns, not to the Roman towns, not to the Canaanite towns. But to the towns they knew and understood. And there's our wonderful church bell. 
So here he is sending them out into the communities that they knew and understand, into the culture that they knew and understood, to be amongst the people that they knew and understood. Interesting, isn't it, that we often talk about Christ sending out and we often concentrate on that wonderful passage at the end of Matthew where he says, go out into the world to make disciples of all people, baptising them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And yet here, what you see is the first thing he does is send his disciples to the places that they knew and that they understood, amongst the communities that were familiar to them to their friends and their neighbours, effectively. And that is a really strong calling on us. That our, as Christians, our first sending out is to our neighbours and our friends. Now, it may seem a strange message, especially at the moment with COVID, when we're, we're asked to be isolated. And yet we still meet with our friends and our neighbours. We still meet with our families. We still meet together. Christ sends his disciples out in pairs to support each other. And at, that time, at this time, that's important for us to remember, for us as Christians to remember that we are there to support each other. We have pods of faith. So here he is, sending out his disciples amongst the community that they know, amongst the people that they understand, to give them the message that he has seen that these communities need. Remember at the beginning, he's in the synagogues. He's healing the sick, he's healing the disabled. In the synagogues and amongst the people he knows, in the communities he understands, and he then sends his disciples into those communities. I think that is our first calling, is to our neighbours and our friends, to the communities we understand. And at the second point, we are sent out into the world. For many of us, our mission, our evangelism, will always be amongst those that we know and in the communities that we know. And that is our blessing. Father God, Christ sent out his twelve amongst the places that they understood and in the communities that they were familiar with. Lord, we pray that you do the same for us. Use our friendships, our families, to bring glory to you. Amen.